Hello everyone. So this clip is part of a full podcast of the NSDT show which is a podcast around physical fitness, mental fitness as well as self improvement. So agar aapko ye clip pasand aata hai to please watch the entire video, the entire podcast. Uska link main niche description mein aap logon ko de raha hu aur is video ke end mein bhi wo video ka jo ek annotation hoti hai, suggested video hoti hai, usme aapko pure podcast ka link milega. So please like the video if you really like it, subscribe to the channel. Mujhe comments mein bataye ki how you like it, kya aapka feedback back hai so we can take that and improve the podcast series going forward uh, and with that i won't take much of your time you can go ahead and watch the clip if we look at a dollar or if we look at a million the important thing is how can you make that money grow mm. right how can i make 2 dollars from that 1 dollar how can i make 10 million from that 1 million right that's the important thing and when it comes to business forget everything just learn to sell That's all you need to know. Learn to sell. I don't care if you got gold in your pocket. If you can't sell it, it's 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 not even worth paperweight. Right? So if you can sell, then everything is yours. The whole world is yours. You don't have to have your own product. Right? When I teach people business, they're like, oh, should I start my own product? Should I do this? You know, just make this design, that design. I'm like, listen, everything in the world is for sale. learn to sell you know you, you watch that movie all for the wall street yeah, yeah. sell me that pen <laughs> uh-huh. in reality they don't show you how to sell that pen right yeah who gives a shit how to sell that pen i'll tell you the biggest sales guys are like these guys street vendors okay they don't do any marketing mm-hmm. they sell what's in the season and they make a sale every single day they didn't go to school they have no education but they know that we have to sell if we don't sell we don't eat right i call those people hunters Mm-hmm. you eat what you kill right yeah. so it is very important that if you can pick up a book and read it learn about sales everything there is to know about sales learn so let's say i got a bottle in my hand i make a sale i just make one sale that's it whether i made it by luck or with my brain or whatever it was i made that sale what you want to do is you want to analyze that sale you got to look at it from every single angle How did that sale happen? Was it a fluke? Or did I have the right color? Did I have the right branding? Did I have the right attitude? Did it, was I dressed properly? What was it that made that sale? Right? We just we have to like dissect that that just single sale because if you can't you can't duplicate that sale. Right? And if you figure out exactly what it was, how you made that sale, then you just got to multiply and once you learn then what you want to do is you want to bring in the right person for the right job because you're no longer required to make that sale anymore mm-hmm. you've done your work bring in the best of the best from that industry let them do it but show them how you've done it yeah. and then you'll have his experience on top of it it becomes that much better that now he can penetrate the market a lot faster yeah you can delegate you can do delegate. something else then so because what you want to do is you want to free up as much time as uh. possible Uh-huh. That's what I do is I have the largest family office syndicate in in Middle East and Africa. I would say in the world but the world is too big man. There's there might be some people I've never heard of. Just like mine is private. I'm sure there's a lot of private uh syndicates out there. So how it starts, what can you do for people? That's all it takes. If you can deliver and your word should be everything. If you promise something you must deliver even if you take a loss deliver because once people lo- uh, lose confidence confidence in you it's very hard to gain it back but let's just say you've tried to start a business you failed like 10 times um you made so many mistakes that people talk about you all the time well he's a crook he's done this whatever they don't know how you failed doesn't matter don't let it get to your head because it's the last thing people remember Let's say you were a failure 10 times. The 11th time you started and you're a success, those 10 times have gone to gar- gone to the garbage. Like wow, he's somebody now. Mm-hmm. So just always keep keep your focus.